hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we are going to see installation of sitecore 10.2 let's begin system requirements so these are the system requirements that you should be having in your machine for sitecore to work properly make sure you have all these requirements correct on your machine for sitecore to work properly so these are the software that we require for developing our website on Sitecore so we have Visual Studio, we have Visual Studio Core, SQL Server Management Studio for Sitecore topologies we have different topologies here for on-premise IS will be dealing with or will be installing XP single in different there are, yeah, there are different types of Sitecore installations in that will be going with Sitecore assistant installation SIF less so this is installation wizard where we need to just click on next and specify the configurations and after that side core will get installed for us. You can download this graphical setup package of XP single on the below link. I will add those links in description as well so you can get those details from there. This is the installation guide link that I have added in this presentation. I will also add this link in description in case you have any doubts regarding installation you can also refer this developer guide installation pdf and you will you, you might get help from there so let's start with installation first of all after downloading the package we need to extract that and create a folder inside a c drive with name as resource file and add all the files that we have extracted on this folder after that there is setup.exe file we need to run that setup.exe file in administrator mode just right click there and run, ad run as administrator if you forget to do that you might get some errors while installation of sitecore so you need to re redo that again after that sitecore installer will pop up and here yeah, you, you just need to click on start it will ask you to install prerequisites just click on install after the installation it will display this message as the prerequisites have been installed after that you need to click on next button after that yeah we, we need to install solar so here we need to specify the port on which you are running the solar make sure that port that you are using any other application or process is not running on that port after that we need to specify windows service and paths prefix so here whatever the name that you will specify that name will be added to your windows service after that install path where you need to keep the files of the solar so that path we need to specify for specifying that you just click on install once the installation is completed you can click on next so these are the site core settings configuration that we need to specify here here in installation solution prefix we need to specify the prefix of your website so what your site will be starting with here I have specified sc-102 so whenever my site will be created this prefix will be added to my site in the URL of the website the password yeah you can specify uh, B you can just confirm that password also you need to get the license file for site code installations so after after getting that file you can add that file in the folder and just select that file here I have added that license file in the same location where all the setup files are there so I have specified the same location here after that just click on next so these are the SQL server settings that we need to specify here I have added my SQL server name after that you need to specify the user admin name so here sa and uh, user uh, sql server password whatever the sql server password that you need to keep that you have for your system admin you just you just need to specify here okay. before doing that make sure that your sql server is in mix authentication mode otherwise it will give you error while installation after that we need to specify the solar settings so what is the url that we have created after previously after solar installation solar system file where all the files are present and what is the name of your service after specifying that click on next 
these are these are for the site core optional modules here if you want to install sxa i uh, just click that make sure that your S sxa is added in your license otherwise it will not get installed so whatever the license that we have previously added your license should contain sxa information there in order to install the sxa it's optional if you don't want you can leave it blank and click click on next and check that and click on next so it will display the summary whatever the settings that you have specified here just confirm that and click on next if anything is wrong you can just go back and correct that and here again you can click on next after coming here you can click on next so yeah it will basically validate everything is proper or not license file license file name sif configuration files wdp files sql connection whether it is able to connect to your sql or not solar is working fine or not all the system roles and after that it will ask you do you want to install the site core just then click on install okay this installation process might take a while for me it took almost an hour to install you need to wait for it and after it is getting after it is installed it will show the error, uh, it will show the message that it is installed site core has been installed with success after that you can click on next after installation is completed this a window will be displayed you can directly click on launch site core and it will go to the cms home page so yeah you can see the cms login page here user will be admin and password that you have specified previously to installation i have specified b so after entering those credentials you will be able to log in successfully in the site core cms uh, some points to remember so while installation of site core we might get some errors so go through them if any of these issues you are facing i i will just explain them one by one also for some of them i will add links in description section and if you get those error you can refer those details from the description section okay so marketing automation service not work when i installed site core i faced this issue marketing service it was created it was not working i manually tried it to i tried to restart it manually but still i was facing some issue it is not working properly so for that uh, there was some issue with the certificate uh, uh, that certificate should be added in the trusted root folder so i have i ran some powershell script and added that certificate in the trusted folder and after that it started working properly what i will do is i will add that link of that article where i have where you can get those commands so in case you are facing that issue you can refer them manually install the solar sometime what happens is solar is not installed properly for that you need to manually install the solar i will add the links in the description from where you can go and install the solar enable mix authentication mode in sql this step you need to perform so during the installation site core will connect to your sql server and create their own databases so for that you need to provide proper credentials there and mix mode authentication should be on delete database if you are reinstalling the site core so sometime what happens due to some issues the installation might fail okay so in that case uh, if databases are created in your sql server you just need to delete those database otherwise it will again show error saying the database already exists so make sure you follow the step if you re are installed in site core again check whether port 443 is not used by any other process if it is if you using by another process your site core instance will not work so make sure that port is uh, free run the installation in admin mode yeah sometimes you might get error if you are not running installation in admin mode then you need to redo that part again provide admin access to web root folder to avoid errors yeah sometimes if proper admin access is not present for that folder web root folder generally the system is not able to copy the files properly so it might give error so make sure you have admin access to the web root folder yeah that's it that's it for this video thank you for watching i will see you in the next video